I'd like to introduce David from the United States who takes LDN for chronic fatigue syndrome. Thank you for joining me, David. Pleasure to be with you, Linda. Could you tell me when you first had problems with the chronic fatigue syndrome? Uh, yes, it was the spring of the year 2000. I had returned from a trip to the West Coast on a plane and got sick, had flu-like symptoms. Uh, in this case, it got into my lymph nodes and lingered for quite some time, four to six months. And from that point forward, I uh, had a very distinct drop in my energy level. And prior to that time, I was an avid runner. And after this occurrence, I discovered that when I would go out to run several miles that the, f the following day I would just, uh, I believe the term is crash, mm -hmm. I just had a complete energy crash and was just unable to continue in that uh, that activity. So, so that... Mm -hmm. When you started LDN, um, a lot of people with chronic fatigue syndrome find that they're ultra sensitive to drugs. Did you have to have a slow introduction? I'm not sure that I did. I, I, I started with one and a half milligrams and at that time I was taking a liquid form. Mm -hmm. um, I, I really, after I moved up to two milligrams, I noticed that's when I noticed a distinct difference and that was just after a week or two. Right now I'm on a three milligram dose and I do take a tablet because the I like the liquid, but it needs to be refrigerated, so mm -hmm. the tablet's more convenient. So did you... I had, no, uh, had, I had no problem adjusting to it. I had no um, side effects of, of a negative nature. Um, had no herxing. It, some people say it interferes with them falling to sleep. In, in my case, it, it might have even had the opposite effect. It, I found it to be sleep-inducing. Um, if I had any negative side effect that I could conceive of, it was in the mornings I perhaps was just a little bit more groggy than I used to be, but mm -hmm. I've had a very good experience. And how long would you say it took before you started to notice your energy levels increasing? I think it was really just two weeks. Uh, just coincidentally, we had a major project going in the back of our house that involved a lot of manual labor, a lot of wheelbarrows full of dirt, and gravel, and sand. I was putting in a concrete paver patio, mostly by myself. I did have some help. And uh, just noticed um, after a day of very, very difficult physical activity, I went back out the next day and felt fine, the next day and felt fine, and it just occurred to me, Gee, I think wow. the LDN may be working. <laughs> and I'm not having any post-exertion fatigue. And are you running now? Yes. Uh, after that project was finished, which was another two weeks, so about a month after I started the LDN, I decided to try a running regimen, and lo and behold, uh, I had no problems whatsoever. It was I was just like a minor miracle. I just went back. Once I got my, you know, my muscles in shape, I, mm -hmm. I run uh, 30 to 45 minutes uh, four times a week, and I have run in a couple of 5K races, and I'm just, uh, it's, it's like finding an old friend. I'm, I really missed running. Well, that's amazing, isn't it? What a success story! What would you say uh, to the, other people? Yeah, the, the third, the, the, well, the third area I would just say just to um, that for me I, I mm -hmm. play competitive bridge and it's you're sitting down but it does take a lot of mental energy and and prior to the LDN we we play a session of bridge in three and a half hours and we would normally play two sessions a day in a tournament and after about three days of that I would just my brain would be. Uh, very mushy, very very hard to concentrate. Uh, I happened to have a six-day tournament scheduled uh, about two months after I started the LDN. I played three sessions a day for six days, and I I never felt mentally fatigued. So I wow. I can't 
I, I, I don't know that this would work this way for everyone, but for me it's just been a, a godsend. I shouldn't think you'd like to stop to find out, would you? Nope. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, very happy. I'm a happy camper. Good. Well, thank you very much for sharing your story with us. You're welcome. You have a good day.